Science is a community of people working together to understand our world. And honestly, I'm kind of jealous. I'm here by myself in this digital space. Let's see what I'm missing. They say one person's trash is another person's treasure, and nothing exemplifies that like the Trinity River Audubon Center, just five minutes from downtown Dallas. This area used to be a toxic waste site, so full of trash and chemicals from illegal dumping that if you had stacked it all up, it would have measured as high as the Empire State Building. But today, this 120-acre stretch of Blackland Prairie has gone from trash dump to national treasure with the help of the National Audubon Society and conservationists like Shelley White. I'm not a scientist. I'm actually a business person with a business background. But I love nature, and I love the Trinity River, and I love the city of Dallas, which is why I am here. I'm learning to become a scientist every day in this job. And that job is working with her team to revitalize the area back into a flourishing ecosystem. A task that, as team member Jake explains, is for the birds. Nearly 300 species of bird have been documented here. So this place is super important because they're so specific of their needs. We're providing habitat for the painted bunting, which is a beautiful neotropical migrant. And in the wintertime, we have birds like the Harris Sparrow, which is the only breeding songbird that's endemic to Canada. So every Harris Sparrow that winters in the Blackland Prairie was born in the Arctic tundra. But how does the center convince the up to two billion birds who migrate through every year that there's a reason to stop and get off the beaten flight path? The answer might throw you for a loop, a cycle of life loop. And that begins with seeds. Once propagated, these seeds then grow into plants, which become part of a pollinator garden, which in turn attracts insects. Now. Before the thought of creepy crawlies makes your skin feel creepy crawly, team member Keegan explains why this is a good thing. You know, bugs are such an important part of the ecosystem. They're tiny, they're little, but they're doing a really important job. They are breaking down the gifts that these plants have to offer in terms of seeds, in terms of their root systems, in terms of different fruits that they offer and these bugs are taking them and then distributing the pollen and the seeds so that the plants can thrive. And those plants, bugs, and fruit are what tempt the birds who soar above the central flyway looking for a nest stop. But it's so important that we're restoring this habitat. If you take care of the birds, you take care of most of the environmental problems in the world, says Thomas Lovejoy. And once these now rested birds continue on their journey, they'll disperse seeds as they go, beginning the cycle all over again. A cycle that fosters a lush, restored habitat, which benefits the folks who started it all. We actually wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the community. They came together and they made sure to advocate for green space. It was once an environmental liability and now it's an environmental asset. Shelley agrees, knowing how far this area has come. What this land has been through, it is my hope that we are able to restore the habitat and it continues to thrive and carry on for future generations. A little bird tells me they're on the right track. If you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really, I've seen this one over a hundred times.